What is up YouTube and welcome back to another Earthcats Wildrift video. Today we are going to take a closer look at one of the most underrated champions in the jungle department and it's Kindred. Many people believe that this champion has been killed for all the nerfs but it's not necessarily true. Kindred just requires now a lot more delicate gameplay. Building the right items, understanding where you can go, understanding how you can scale and understanding what fights you want to take. So it's not too many people's confusion that in Wild Rift this champion is now generally most of the time underperforming because Wild Rift is a very special place where people just want to bash their head into a wall 24-7 in a row and then yield good results. But that is not always the case. So is Kindred a good champion? She is, but you need to do your due diligence. Okay, so what have we seen so far? We have seen that we skipped the croc camp because it simply takes too long to kill. And not much else. First ability, second ability, third ability, everything is fine so far. I assume a first ability max into probably a second ability. And afterwards into a third ability. Um, I don't know if it says in the client, but if you put points into your first ability, the cooldown when your second ability is around you, like while you're in the circle, is being reduced down to, I think, two seconds of maximum downtime, if I'm not mistaken. So our unfortunate RNG, we got the first mark on the bottom side scuttle, which, unironically, no, it's not bad RNG, hold up, because Lilia always has to start on blue buff, because otherwise she can't play. Lilia also just flashed on your screen up there, trying to get a kill. Uh, Lucian, uh, Lucian champion, I hate him. But yeah, Kindred kind of now that is something that the enemy isn't expecting like this play most likely because this is very out of the pocket but yeah it's a free pickup helps them push the lane as well and now can either focus on a croc camp or go for a cheeky recall both is a viable option okay kindred is now snowballing like she's not necessarily weak and she's most definitely in a position to play a lot more aggressive right now you see how long it takes to till this uh, grow this croc camp it's like, it takes ages. Unfortunately, our middle lane died to the gank, El Suenito. We don't like Swain. Omega Spike in base with Berserker Grease and Sheen. Unfortunately, he cannot invade. I don't think that's going to be possible to go for the Gromp. So he's looking for another cheeky gank here. Will Set survive this? There's no way he does. Like, Mark is on set. We get a kill. I think, did Set just try to ult as well during the end? We see Lilia just cleared her Gromp, like, I think 20 seconds ago. Because the Mark disappeared. So we have an indicator that she's down there, also on her blue side. Which is obviously to be expected since we started on the same side. And therefore, our camp respawn is roughly mirrored. Lucian goes for her instant mid lane roam. Gets hit by Swain Root, yeeted back and healed him for a little bit afterwards and gave him some HP. But yeah, I don't think Kindred can really contest these marks. Okay, Galio, that's a very interesting play because yeah, you just got yourself killed and lost your ultimate cooldown on top. Bro's fuming. So now Kindred is getting spoon fed with kills. Lilia killed her um chickens, but red buff is available. I don't really think we can play for an invade though. Too much of a risk. Aww, Lucian got it. He didn't want to smite. But now they're turning on them, getting one kill. Blitzcrank is probably stuck here unless he has hex flash. Now he has normal flash, double flash out the pits. Swain popped ult. And back to farming we go. That's such a sad <laughs> sequence of events. Oh yeah, and don't forget, like, if you want to save big time on skins, feel free to check out in the description below the link to our partners. Just make sure to use Kirk's t uh, up to 20 as a code and, well, enjoy saving a lot of money, especially on the Akane, um, I think it's the Akane skins, like everything that's currently in the shop that is um, available. 
Okay, he wants to play for fight. He doesn't want to just trade, he wants to fight. He wants to not give the enemy any objective. So Lilia will have a big problem even getting close here, right? Like, she has to flash in to get this objective, or somebody else steals it. And if that isn't the case, yeah, easy, secure, and now we can play for the other side as well. We, we might even get to play um, for our mark. Because now we get off the reset, we can just walk there immediately. And that should be a pretty good spot for us to be in. Enemy goes for a full rotation as well. Like, Varus is going to make so much money. Okay, Swain survives. It's pretty huge. Aw, oh, this one will die before we get there, right? Yeah, that's tragic. Because we tried to save the Swain. Oh, look at the Swain. Oh, no, it's falling apart. Oh, he needs to be careful. It's the super nuclear Galio. Oh, Galio messed up the taunt, so he now he's dead. Ah, flash with Nimbus Cloak. Not enough, though. Can I just die, raw dive Varus up there? Nah. Oh, the Blitzcrank just flashed and hooked the Varus in. So then he dies. That's so sad. Mordecai just pulled Lilia into the uh, to the Mordecai's basement in Brazil. One of the best features Kindred has is simply the ability to be so mobile, like being able to just jump walls continuously, and he gets the mark on top. Can Bro die? Oh, finally, three marks. Uh, it was every four, like it was the first four marks and then three, like every three where you get like benefits. Like the first four marks are so important because you gain seventy five range. It's seventy five, right? And then like every three after, it's plus twenty five. Plus obviously every mark empowers your abilities, which is obviously uh, something that's not too shabby. If you if you think about before the nerfs came in. The amount of damage you, you gained from Mox was insane. Also, the damage your champion dealt without Mox was also very interesting. It's a good bait. Bait coming in. Has to play for the first person to hit. Swain now popping in as well. Ghost is running. Swain doesn't catch up though. Okay, they have to stop this. Place Stormraiser wants to permanently like now he has a double slow in his kit. Now he has Stormraiser slow and the third ability slow. Oh, that's so sad. Did you know if you take this hex gate and there's for example an Aurelian soul ult coming, you actually avoid the damage if you're currently hex gating? That saved me yesterday. I didn't know so. Plus, did you know that Nyla W blocks Heimerdinger dirt shots? I learned that the other way. I died. It wasn't fun. It really wasn't. Okay, Tower Falls, can we play for the mark? Yes, we can. Okay, we got the fourth mark secured, so finally the game is playable for us. That looked a little bit sketchy. Just a tiny bit, though. Okay, we have a very excited fight here, starting with the set. Will they fully commit on this one? They need to be really careful. 
Okay, Mrs. The Hulk, Galio hits the queue. Is is this a Ludens Echo Galio? Okay. Oh, I don't know why he just pulled him into the dungeon. I think he could have waited a bit, because I think it was a really good spot for the Kindred to just deal free damage. Nicely time taunt by the Galio. Unfortunately, Warnock has failed to kill the Lilia within the realm. Goes in, though. Lucian now left alone here, sent the other side flash of hope and 600 gold right into the pocket of the hyperscaling jungle. It's really nice that he's like showcasing how he's staying at a distance so he doesn't get like one tap for funsies. Next mark is secured as well, so we are at six now. Just one more and life's good. <laughs> Lilia without stacks is so slow. The set is forcing so much, and this, and this guy needs to stop pulling people into the realm. I could have died so much faster if he wasn't in the realm. We get another mark, and we get the top. Oh, he can't go for top wave, because then enemy might go for jungle. Because our team just chose to run it down. They might still go for it. Yeah, they are. Kindred can maybe secure this uh, when she goes in, pops ult. Pop ult, pop ult. She didn't even have to pop. Oh my god, that was so clutch. She didn't even... Uh, from hero to zero. <laughs> Oh no. Uh, Galio Q nowadays is such a vibe. Like, this spell has zero cooldown. Makes this champion so good, though. So beyond good. This Kinder is really scary, but this Blitzcrank is also a problem, because depending on who he hooks... What?! Yo, 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 he just hooked through space and dimension. Like, that was a crazy hook. Okay, Lilia just put them to sleep, but uh, of little consequence. They can't, they can't do anything, they just lose two inhibs, just right in front of them. And now Lilia will also lose a portion of her jungle. It, the jungle that wasn't cleared already. It's like really painful. Yeah, Lilia should have ex- Oh my god, what just happened to him? You got tapped. That was insane damage. Oh, so sad, so close before Mortal Reminder. So, so, so close. Yeah, magic is definitely not a bad thing. It's super high AD. Um, enemy team has scary magic damage champions. More will definitely help you survive that one. Am I the only one that thinks that Galio Q is missing? What is Mordebro doing? Okay, Q is just being popped to avoid getting Lilia ulted. Who's is getting pulled in by the Karma ult, getting flashed on by the Kindred. Kindred doesn't crit once. GG. Unlucky.
Yeah, and Swain is just tanking it up and dies for it though. Oh my god. Wow. He did, like, Galio Q just completely decimated. Honestly, I want to play more Galio, because it's so fun to play this champion. And just permanently throw Qs. Like, since you have actual wave clan now, since you don't have, like, cooldowns that are, like, one year, like, you throw one Q every season, it's so much more fun. The enemy could have attempted r rushing that one, no? They could have attempted rushing Nasher. Because they didn't contest Soul. And this is an Infernal Soul against, like, with a Karma and a Varus. It's really painful to deal with. A like, Karma Q will deal like 15% more damage now. Ah, the one shot Galio. The super nuclear Galio. Yep, yep. You have 10 marks, by the way. That's three range, uh, range extensions, right? It's like 75 plus twice 25. If I'm not mistaken. Nice sidestep. Just as being popped to avoid being slapped. Plays range, goes for the first target to hit, gets it for free. <laughs> and that is through more, by the way. Oh my god, Galio. He is your father. <laughs> he is he's more than just your father. He just owned you. Oh, that's Galio, this champion. Nah. Nine. Okay, now we just play typical AD carry. Hit whatever gets in front of us. Oh, flash abuser. Counter flash abuser. Yeah, it's, it's, and Wilder's is such a funny game. You don't even need to, like, <laughs> E on the target when you ult. It's just, there's so much damage in the game, you just, you just blast him with auto attacks. So let's see if we spot uh, certain similarities from last game to this game. We see another red start. Skipping out on Crux in first clear. Having the wolf chomp the raptors who are stacked on top of each other. So the wolf damage splashes pretty well. Blitzcrank got us early information on the Z. Z is also a champion that usually starts with blue buff because it needs the energy region that blue buff provides you with. Singe dying, classic. So he's consistently going for a 4 camp clear into scuttle to be on scuttle on spawn. And then he just plays for mark. Okay, wait. Okay, he knows, since that started down there, so he just goes for this partial clear, like he does four camps into scuttle, into reset, to go for the opposing side, okay. But if there's, down here, if this thing was marked, would he still have recalled? Because last time he didn't, but obviously it aligned with different goals. Maybe that is playable, very unlikely though, they'll simply escape. Nice try. Back to farming we go. Zed just got another kill on the Singed. Singed getting absolutely butchered for dying 1v1. I mean, this champion just unfortunately does suck. It is what it is.
That's a potential dive angle. They don't have much time though. Like five seconds. Yeah. That is here. Okay. Okay, bro is I don't know what he's hooking, but it's not <laughs> in the same realm. We have two marks already. Really good. He would love to contest like enemy jungle, but he really can't. And another Kafola Darius who's just ghosting around up there. He just altered the singed. Singed was running away. Okay, Ari also aiming for I don't know. My last Valentine's card, I guess. Zucrompulus. So much. There's not. There's not much action yet. It's like there's like it. It takes some time, and then it's going to be explosive. Because he's trying to be consistent in the way he plays. Like he has a very um thought through or well thought out early game plan. And then it's mostly about punishing people. Like since he's hyperscaling, he doesn't also have to feel the need to make things happen. He was very lucky. Nice. Nice. This usually means that the entire jungle is picked clean still. Okay, we have a Phage into Sheen with Berserker Gre Spike, like Berserker we had earlier, of course, but Phage and Sheen are pretty good. Phage allows us to kite better, gives us AD and HP. It's really good for our type of champion. Yeah, Zed might, Zed might just come here and pick up a kill. Like it's it's very hard for Kindred as well to do anything against him. Um Because depending on how the fight looks like, Zed might just ult him and then it's just over. Goes in here. Pops the ult with the dragon inside. Gets the smite secure. Everything is free as hell. Nice hook by the Blitz Kranko. Meanwhile, the ADK. Look, 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 there's a mark, there's a mark. Meanwhile, okay, meanwhile, Kindred, bro, there's a Herald. I want the money. I want the money. Yeah, this midnight tower needs to say goodbye. First free, next free, and <laughs> next it's. Ay, ay, ay. Nice Trilux, but no cigar. Oh, Zed just got it. Ah, oh, that's not playable. I mean, Blitzcrank could have tried to hook it. When it's getting lower, so Kindred could secure it. It's like the only realistic way of this working out without anyone dying. Okay, Trinity Force has been assembled. There's a Zed hunting down a poor Caitlyn, shadowing after, and it's a wrap. Zed only 25% HP left though. I wonder if Kindred is just gonna play topside now and take down the top lane tower in hopes that Darius will be there and he just fights Darius. Mark the Darius to gain information about him, because he wasn't spotted for a long time. Scorpion just gave gold to Blitzcrank. It should be a free mark, which is a pretty big spike, because it's the fourth mark then. 
Just need to be mindful that uh, he doesn't get full stacked on the Blitzcrank too easily. Okay, he died beforehand. Lethal tempo this time, by the way. Okay, saved. Oh my god, this Lucian is so mad. What? Nah. This singed flipper. He just took the cat and yeeted the cat away. Ah, uh, you, you dead. That's not worth it, my G. Uh, but the mental damage has been inflicted. Lux player has been killed. We're all happy. Burning hatred for Lux in my games. Okay, what is brother Ari doing? Ari? What the hell, bro? Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Oh, that by goodbye, good sir. Cinched being sent home. Remember the support guide where it says. Yo, use Fork of War as a mage, similar to other mages. Lux be like, well, Fork of War sounds like a good idea, I just won't tap you. Yeah, he, he just tells his team like, bros, you can't, stop trying. Nah, you can't face the Z here. The Yumi, yeah, the Yumi would be with him anyway. Then he would just die for zero. For absolutely zero. The Ari just got schooled. He still have ult available. He, he hovered the ult just to be like ready. Just in case Lux has more spells, but yeah. Wasn't the case. So he gets another free kill pickup. He is so fed. And Bloodline is so nice to have if you have like um on hit damage on your champion. It's so nice. Feels so amazing. Is that another mark? Yoink. Freest mark of the century. Also, like, Runans is such an underrated item, like, in all honesty. Like, if you have games in which you get into super hyper late game, Having no runes on an AD carry feels like absolute griefing. Cause let's let's just say you only hit frontline. Your runes bolt will hit everyone else, like two people, like guaranteed all the time. So it's literally like free damage. And you're not even losing too much by getting it. And that's the point. Oh, well, you might be able to hunt him down if his team rotates onto the top onto the team. Look, please? No, maybe? Okay. Yeah, he can't really do too much right now. He's forced to watch his team get ran down because they put themselves in terrible positions for zero. And the only thing he can do is hopefully clean up. And if he can't clean up, he just has to accumulate resources. Nice charm, nice combo. There is instantly dies. Zed probably has ultimate again. Yeah. Ultimate being popped, death mark drops, we survive the onslaught, Lucian dies. Really nicely done, just tethering the range to the shadow. 
and therefore allowing himself to, just in case the Zed comes back, kill the Zed. Very good awareness of what is going on. Swaps boots to plate it, okay. I'm not a fan, I'm really not a fan of Wit's End. I really don't like the item. I think it's really, really bad. And also, you mean no Arden for Lucian? That's so sus, though. Like, considering how Lucian functions, that's so sus. I mean, I don't know. It's really bad, in my opinion. Not that Ammonic is a bad item, but, yeah. Wait, does kid, Kindred Ult, like, look look at Runans. This item is so disgusting. Kindred Ult also saves the T-Hex, right? Because he had the can't die symbol. So I assume it works the same on T-Hex, because I've not seen the interaction yet. Death mark popped, no movement speed left. That is pretty bad. Wait, why does he have force of nature? Darius, why do you have force of nature? You're since 020. Cinch doing really good work up there, getting them up there, so they can secure a free dragon, which means free mark. So we are 10 marks right now, so we have free range extensions. And we have so much money in the bank. We are like Thanos right now. Finally enough, if Zed jumps on us with ult and hits every single shuriken with like a triple shuriken combo, we still die. We still have to ult. <laughs> oh, if he gets full stacked on that guy, it's really sus. <laughs> he can just stand still. Oh no, that's so tilting. Okay, Blitzu Grabo. Yeah, goodbye, good sir. And that is the end. She's just getting ran down, and the game ends. So, thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and come back for more Rift Cats content. As per usual, thank you all, and see you soon for more content. Bye bye.